Hey guys, Red Eye Gaijin here. Um, just following up from my previous video, I touched on um, very, very generally uh, the idea of getting to Japan on a business visa, not a work visa, a business visa. That comes about from when you actually go and set up a business, um, which which is connected in some way to a business in, in your country or a co another country outside of Japan and um, there's just so much involved but something I wanted to uh, talk about during that process is um, well from my own experience is there are a lot of opportunities to actually get free stuff um, which which really take a lot of the burden um, away from what it would usually cost or, um, or or the time it would actually take to to research into get, getting the right um, well for example the right uh, location the right priced rent for your office um, and, and just introductions to partners and things like that and, and what I'm getting at is the governments on various levels in Japan uh, actually all have, or, or a lot of them have, um, different programs for foreign businesses to incentivize setting themselves up as, as Japanese uh, companies too. So um, to be a little bit more clear, um, an example I can give you is um, when I set my company up in Osaka, um, I was actually, uh, well I applied for and I was, I was successful in an application for um, almost 12 months of free rent in, a, uh, in an office space um, only, only, five, only about 10 or 15 minutes from central Osaka. Um, which you know would have cost uh, thousands and thousands of dollars if I uh, had otherwise not been aware of that um, and and actually before moving into that um, I had another three months free rent space um, which was provided by a, a organization called Jetro which is um, a, an organization um, basically a, a government spin-off which has a sole purpose of assisting um, foreign companies do business in Japan and, and vice versa um, Japanese companies uh, hook up with foreign firms with it with an interest in Japan so um, just just those two in themselves are um, you know o over a year's worth of free rent um, and then of course uh, there's the prefectural governments too which tend to have their own things going and um, it was through the prefectural government that I actually received a, a cash um, a cash amount um, you know a fairly substantial cash amount just for ticking the boxes of the types of company that the prefecture is trying to attract into Japan. So um, what you could take away from this is, you know, do your research, decide where you're going to set up your company, and it may not always be the best to set up in Tokyo, simply because of these kind of incentive schemes, you know, are typically um, places outside or far away from Tokyo and, and, and away from Osaka and probably away from Kyoto for that matter would have some type of extra incentive to try and attract companies, foreign companies and even companies from uh, Japanese companies from the main cities to go and set up uh, branches or, or some type of operations there. So do your research and, and check out government websites, uh, you know, j just sort of um, Google the name of the city, the prefecture, um, and and look up things like um, uh, subsidy for foreign firm, you know, or um, uh, free rent or temporary office space and, and that kind of thing. And you'll come across, um, you know, a, a lot of different opportunities. And I think the key then is to use these 
uh, in addition to the business plan that you're going to put forward to um, the, the company in your country um, a, as ways that you're going to save them money and, and it really adds a, a strong value um, to your business proposal not only financially but it shows you're looking out for the company and you, you're not just um, you know trying to to get them to keep paying you for um, for working in Japan uh, which which is probably closer to the truth but anyway I'll leave it at that so um, if you have any questions about this feel free um, I'll put some links into uh, the Osaka related um, things like that that I, I used and and I came across um, and uh, yeah red eye guide in see ya